Welcome back to another how-to video. My name is George Merchant. I'm with Electronic Control Services in High Point, North Carolina. And today we're going to be going over a latching circuit. A latching circuit is a very common circuit in automation uh, going back well before I was born. These are used to latch on a circuit so when you hit the start button it starts, it stays running. Or the device, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a motor. It could be many different things, but it's typically used in a motor control circuit. We're going to walk through that real quickly. I'll go ahead and move on over here to my drawing. So if you look right here, I'm going through my stop, then I split off and I go to my start button and I go down to one of the contacts on my relay. Then they come back together and they both go to the A1 of my relay. Okay. This is one contact but down here. If you noticed, I'm using a different contact, but same coming off the same relay. So it's still an R1 contact and I'm turning the run signal on for a drive SN and S1. If you can't read that right there. And that would give me my run signal for a drive. So if I was converting a contactor over to a drive, I would use this circuit and a two pole relay so that I make sure that I've, I've got two different sets of contacts that I can use. So let me go ahead and pull up this picture. So I got this nice and blown up so we can see what's on our relay as far as what's normally open and normally closed. And then I can look on the base and see where it is that I need to land my wires. Okay. I'm going to be using the normally open. So I'll be using 11 and nine, 14 and five. I'll be using 1241 and 844 for this particular one as well as a1 and a2 for the coil okay so let's just go ahead and move right on back to what we've got going on over here so you guys can see it so this right here i have my stop and my start buttons on one three position return to center switch so if this was in a cabinet i might have a I might say start and stop right there and i push that way and it starts I push that way and it stops. Okay. I can hit that way. It's just going to stay running until I hit that and then it's going to stop. And how we do that is we take this. This is my incoming wire right here. Okay. Coming into the bottom. You can see this going through the stop right there. Okay. So that, that's this side. This is this side right here. Then this other side, you see how it splits off? Ah, see, I've got two wires going there. One goes over to my start and the other wire right there goes to one of my contacts. Okay. Right there. And you can see that right there, that wire, you can see you can follow that wire it goes down to one of my contacts. Okay. The other, it goes through the start and my black wire right there comes back over here. And it goes to my A1 of my coil, right? Which is also shared. If you look closely, you can see the you can see the two wires. There's two wires going into my A1. That goes over and it goes through the contact down here, which is fed by that split off wire, right? Off of my stop. See? And then I can use the other set of contacts, which I don't have anything wired to right now. I can use that other set of contacts for say like a drive or maybe I want to have a light or something like that. And it's, it's got its own separate voltage, whatever it is, because I have a, a dry contact there, I can put whatever differing voltage I want. It doesn't have to be the same as this. This is 120 volt stuff. It wires exactly the same for 24 volt. It's just the coil has to be 24 volt DC. That's the only thing. So it doesn't really matter what my power is here. I just have to make sure that my coil, my coil in my relay matches up with the proper voltage. Okay. So that's how that wires together, guys. That's all, that's all together there. We can power comes in, comes to the other side of my stop. One goes to my start, just like you're seeing in the background here. One goes to my start. One of the wires right here goes to one side of the normally open contact. Okay. And then the contact associated with that will go to the other side of that normally open contact. Okay. Just like we see here. And then both of those on the other side of my start, you see you got your black and your red, 
they come together on the A1 of the coil. That's a latching circuit. Let me explain to you quick, real quickly as, as to why that works. Our stop has to be before our start, okay? Because what happens is, is when I press the start button, if I don't have this contact to latch it in, voltage will not continue to travel to my coil. So if I hit the start button and I take my finger off of it, it breaks the connection. If this wasn't there, it's going to break this connection right here and it's just gonna drop out. All I'm gonna do is hit it, it'll be on. As soon as I take my finger off of it, it'll be right back off again. So I want it to latch on. So I hit it on, once this coil closes, this contact down here is now closed, right? Well, now I've got a problem, how do I stop it? Well, that's why our stop must be before everything, okay? And then anything else can be put in series with here as well. So if you wanted to put overloads, a e stop relay, a limit switch, it doesn't matter. Anything in here that's normally closed that you can use anytime you break it open, we'll go ahead and stop this device. And that's the basis of latching. And you can uh, check out the, um, the other video on converting a contact motor contactor to a VFD where this is uh, needed, where it's very important. But this is one of the most fundamental circuits in automation. Learn this, learn how this works, understand how this works. And off of that, almost all other uh, relay logic, okay, that's where we started with the relay logic, and relay logic leads into digital logic in the PLC. So keep that in mind and uh, check out some of our own video, our other videos. Please uh, like and subscribe, uh, share them with other technicians if you want to, or other guys that are interested in learning. Thank you for tuning in. My name is George Merchant with ECS. Uh, follow up and uh, watch some of our other videos. Thank you again.